Welcome back. We are now joined by Debbie Highland West. She is the Bowling Green City Public Information Officer. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And we are talking about the downtown Bowling Green Harvest Festival that's coming up this weekend. Yes. It's, well, yeah. What can we expect? All right, so one of our most popular events is the pumpkin drop. Um, our fire department will be there. They'll be taking up their ladders and dropping great big pumpkins. That actually starts at noon. The whole event itself starts at 10. It runs from 10 until 6. Um, in addition to pumpkin drops, we'll also have a fair amount of um, like midway games. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a hay fort. Our Parks and Recreation Department has set up a haunted house that will be in the venue that's right beside Soki Marketplace. Um, the haunted house is a lot of fun. That's all free. New this year, we have the trolley that will be making um, the rounds between Circus Square and Fountain Square. And there are several stops and people can hop on and hop off. That's all free. Um, at Circus Square Park, we'll have the hay forts and all of the traditional things that we've had in the past. Mm -hmm. Over at Fountain Square Park, we'll be doing Day of the Dead, which is just really cool. Um, it will be Day of the Dead and Fall Fiesta. We'll be featuring lots of uh, Fiesta food trucks um, and then uh, a lot of the Day of the, Day of the Dead activities. Okay, yeah, it sounds like so much fun, and this is not the first year. No. How many years have you all been doing this? Oh, I believe this is our seventh year. Okay, okay, so it's been going on for a while. We had some great footage. As you were talking, we were showing it. It, it really looks like so much fun. I have not been. Um, you also have vendors, right? We do. A whole line of vendors as well. We do, and as part of this, uh, Soki Marketplace is also one of our partners. So um, we have well over 100 vendors, so we'll, we'll have food, beverages, entertainment. Um, also that day over at the lot at Tidball's, BG Rock Band Academy will be set up. So they'll be over there doing music all day long. That is a ticketed event that people can get tickets on from Eventbrite. Okay. Um, and then at uh, the Capitol, there'll be a Monster Mash movie marathon. That's free. Um, so there's lots of free events, um, a few events that are that are ticketed. Mm -hmm. um, just so much fun. It is. It's a lot of family fun. Yeah, it sounds like it. And just what a great way to kind of officially kick off the Halloween season. Uh, not yes. that it hasn't already been kicked off, but this is a great way just to really get into the mood and the spirit. And and it's not just because you mentioned several places downtown, Soki Marketplace. And so it's not just in one spot. You get to just spend the day going to different events around downtown. So that sounds really great. And again, this is what day? This will be Saturday. Okay. It will be from uh, 10 to 6. We will shut down some of the roads downtown at 8 o'clock in the morning. Those will be shut down from 8 to 7. Uh, primarily the roads around Fountain Square and the 600 block of College Street so that people can walk safely throughout that area. All right. And how can people get more information on this? Um, there is a Facebook page for it. It's the Downtown BGKY Harvest Festival. So you can go to that Facebook page and you'll find all the information that you ever desire. <laughs> all right. Well, Debbie Highland West, thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm sure you'll have a great turnout.